Hi, this is Kat with Beta Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add crystals to circular brick stitch. Now, this is a finished example here, so you can see what we're going to be working with. So some of the elements here that we have, we have those three millimeter Preciosa crystals. I'm gonna be using some Miyuki Delicas in the 11O size. And then I also have my little ring here, so you can just see how it starts out. And this is 15.5 millimeters. This is a beatable open frame at length, and this is a beautiful little circle design, so it's gonna give us that beautiful sun ray style there. I have an earring hook and a jump ring there as well. Now you can also turn this into a pendant if you like, but I'm going to go ahead and make a pair of earrings. And the only tools that you're going to need is we're going to need a couple pairs of chain nose pliers that's going to help us out with that jump ring later and a shear. Now I do have a size 12 beading needle on some four pound fire line over here. And you can see that I've already done my three rows of brick stitch. So I have that beautiful white satin in there. I have that chartreuse and then I have that gray. Now. You'll notice on my finished example here, we have little seed beads in between each of those crystals. Now for this design, I chose the pink. And for the design here that I'm gonna do in the video, I'm gonna use the green, because I wanted to make it as green as possible, very green on green. <laughs> but feel free to use whichever color you like. You also don't have to use three colors. You can make it all one color, however you wanna work it. So this is the tutorial to do it with three rows, but you'll see that it will be about the same. Uh, you'll just use less crystals. Uh, if you decide to just do one row of the brick stitch uh, before you start adding on the crystals. So I just finished my third row. So I'm coming out the top of this little gray bead right there. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to pick up one of our seed beads here, one crystal and one seed bead. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip over this first little thread bridge right here, and we're gonna go underneath that second thread bridge. So just kind of right underneath there. And pull through. And these three are just gonna kind of sit right on top just like that. And now go back up through that last seed bead and it'll catch underneath that little uh, thread bridge that we have there. Now, instead of picking up a seed bead first, we're gonna pick up a crystal and then a seed bead, and we're just gonna repeat that. So we're gonna skip over one, and we're gonna go underneath the second one here, and pull through, and our crystal's gonna sit right on top there. And then we're gonna come through, and we're gonna go back up through that seed bead, just like so, and you guessed it, we're gonna continue. So that's the whole process. So now you're just gonna pick up a crystal and a seed bead, skip over one, go into the next one, and you're gonna do this all the way around. And what I wanna show you on the other side is how to attach a little, um, uh, excuse me, I wanna show you how to attach a little jump ring so you can make this into a pendant or earring. So I'm gonna to continue to do this entire thing and I will show you what it looks like in just a moment. Okay, so you can see that I've come all the way around here and now I'm back up to this little portion right here where I'm going to add one more crystal. So instead of adding a seed bead here, I'm just gonna pick up one crystal and go down into this seed bead here as though I had just added it. There we go. And now I'm gonna kind of have to sneak my needle through because it's nice and tight in there. So I wanna make sure that I'm coming underneath that thread bridge. And then what I can do is I can flip my work around so that I can come back up through that seed bead and hopefully I've caught it. Yes, I have, beautiful. All right, so let me flip over one more time. So we're kind of continuing to work in the same direction. Now go through that crystal there that's just adjacent to that seed bead just right there, there we go. So now I'm coming out that crystal. What I wanna do is I wanna pick up one seed bead here and I'm going to sew into the next crystal. So just let that come through. So now I have a little built up crystal there on two. So now what we can do is we can just come in and tie off our thread by creating a little loop, go underneath that thread bridge there, making sure to not catch the crystal next to it. <laughs> 
And now I can just sew down into my piece and I am good to go. Now, if you want, if you feel that this is going to be on a pendant and you, you know, there might be a little tugging, you can absolutely sort of weave your way back and redo this little circle piece here to ensure that that's not going to go anywhere. I'm happy with mine, so I'm going to just come in and snip off my thread. There we go. I can set all that aside. Now, go ahead and grab your jump ring here. And to be able to fit through the Miyuki Delica there, you will need a 22 gauge jump ring. So we're just gonna slip that on right through our little seed bead there. And without even having to open up our earring hook, we can slide that on, sneak our pliers in there, and close that up. There we go. And now we have our completed little earring. So again, you can do this in a ton of different colors. These three millimeter crystals are so adorable and so cute and it just re really adds a nice little sparkle to it. So again, we have the purple and the green there. We also do have these beatable open frame links in gold as well. So if that's more your style, be sure to check that out over at beataholic.com. If you're new to our YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button below to get all the latest from Beataholic.